Well, uh, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us here on Mirror Now. The big story coming in at the moment from Tamil Nadu. I'm Afrida Rahman Ali getting you the latest. But first, let's start with what's happening in the state of Tamil Nadu, one of the worst affected states. But when we look at the ground realities, we find that those who are responsible for enforcing the rules are actually breaking them. And we are talking about none other than the chief minister himself who attended an event attended by hundreds of party cadre, and this was an event that was supposed to be an inaugural function in Salim, complete disregard for social distancing norms, as you will see in the pictures. Chief Minister Adapadi Paraniswamy was very much present there. The event was organized to inaugurate various public works department projects, and this isn't happening for the first time. Last month as well, EPS inaugurated a bridge in Salim, again attended by hundreds. A camera person assigned to the event actually tested positive after that event. And now, as per lockdown rules set by the Tamil Nadu government itself, only 50 people are allowed to gather at one time. Pramod Madhav joining us live. Pramod, this is not the first time that we see ministers and their cronies moving around with gay abandon, completely violating the social distancing norms. And it's not even like these are lockdown norms. These are basic COVID safety norms that they are violating. What kind of example that sets for the people and how will they even enforce the rules when they are seen violating it in this manner? Well, we can simply say that the chief minister there itself is like setting up a pretty bad example because this is not the first time it's been happening constantly wherever, like, you know, for instance, if the chief minister decides to travel for a weekend in the, the state of Tamil Nadu, he will go to a minimum of three, four districts and wherever he goes for a program or function, such kind of thing is occurring. We've tried to highlight it time and again. And in fact, the last mm -hmm. uh, a program where he like attended, that was two, day, uh, two weeks ago, he actually declared that there is no community spread and if there is community spread, people standing in front of him must get COVID-19 and very unfortunate that one of the cameramans assigned to actually record his event, he turned COVID-19 positive. Even after that, it doesn't seem like he's taking it seriously. But the rules very clearly mention that only a certain amount of people, a small amount of group of people can only participate in such events. Imagine that those visuals, how many people are there? And that's the reason we decided to go ahead and actually mm -hmm. put forward the question with the health minister itself because he's the one who's actually like, you know, framing all these rules that he, we couldn't provide, get any answer from him as well. Yes. Right, stay with us, Pramod, and we are going to bring in more inputs that you have shared with us, especially the way you confronted Health Minister Vijay Bhaskar. Team Mira now confronted the State Health Minister, asking him questions about this major violation that was caught on camera at an event attended by the Chief Minister himself. Uh, let's listen in to what the Health Minister had to say to Pramod's questions. For the health minister of the state, apparently when there is only 50 people allowed for even weddings and uh, uh, funeral things, even in programs when the chief minister is participating, 500 people are there. Even yesterday at Salem it occurred. You can't say dead undeveloped things. Why, why is that? <laughs> the, like, the uh, elected people are not following it, sir. Everybody following. Honorable CM um, function, everybody following the proper social distancing and proper testing is following the proper protocol. Sir, in visual there was something different, sir. Nothing, nothing. Pramod, this is absolutely ridiculous. Either the minister has no understanding what social distancing is because those pictures show us people are standing in close proximity. There isn't a meter distance between them, first of all. How can the minister so brazenly deny and say that we are following all the norms, nothing is being violated? This does not add up. Well, for the past one week, we've been trying to put forward one question in front of the Chief Minister, and that is that when the Health Department and the Chief Minister are boasting that after the sixth lockdown, the number of positive cases in the city is coming down, it's actually increased in various other districts. When we try to find out what are the reasons, they first initially stated that they are cutting down all the travel things. But apparently, the Chief Minister itself is traveling frequently to various other districts where we could see the numbers also once again rising. So that's the reason we want to, like, you know, we a little bit did a research and we found out that such groups are gathering wherever the chief minister is going and they are not actually bothered about it. That's the shocking part. We actually put forward this 
in front of the health minister and he says that all rules mm -hmm. and parameters are being followed. We definitely don't see any parameters over there. What was the reason for so many people to gather in front of a street on, in, on a road when there is a like, you know, complete lockdown in the state of Tamil Nadu? He does not have an answer and he like, actually says that like whatever visuals are showing, it's not right and they are properly, properly maintaining social distancing. Yes. Right. So no sincerity or seriousness shown in following basic COVID safety norms. Lockdown norms or guidelines will come later, but even the basic norms are not being followed by the leadership in Tamil Nadu. Thanks for joining us, Pramod.